I want to say I thank the Lord for saving me and bringing me from where I was at. A lot of you don't know, but back in the days, I used to work at racetracks, bars, everything else. Had to throw people out of bars and all. You never knew what kind of life they lived or nothing. But I've been around church all my life, and uh, I had a lot of experiences and everything and all, and I walked away from God and went to work in the bars and all. And I, didn't, I knew it wasn't God's will for me to work in them bars, but he kept eye on me and kept watch over me while I was in there where I was supposed to be there or not. He kept eye on me and watched over me and kept me safe because he had something for me to do down the road. And I have been as much as priest in the church one time where I used to go. I was a head deacon in the church and I preached one message and I enjoyed it and I loved the Lord and I want to say that I thank the Lord for my family and my church family and everything. And the doctor told me and my wife we'd never have a child. And I told the doctor how stupid that was because he wasn't God. God was the only one to say whether we'd ever have a child or not. And so about four years later, my wife ended up pregnant, and then here he is. And, uh, but I want to say that the Lord has done so much for me, I could never repay him. And I try to encourage these young folks to go out and on visitation and do everything they can for God while yeah. they're young. Because when you get older, it makes it harder to do. You can still do it. Because I testify to a lot of people and everything at different places where I'm at and all, and I go and all. And talk to people about church and all, and they say, man, I, that's great hearing something like that from mm -hmm. you know somebody like you knowing the lifestyle you lived and all. But I just want to thank the Lord for reaching way down at Mark Lee and bringing me out and putting me back where I was at. And uh, different churches and all where we went, we've never been satisfied. And uh, wife and Emily said, well, I said, well, we're going to go to church somewhere or another. So let's get it together where we're going. So my wife and them said, well, we've been invited to go down and preach with Mike and them church. Let's go down there. So we came down here and we like Mike's preaching, the way he preaches and preaches out of the Bible. And, and uh, I have someone to say I love each and every one of you here. Yeah, we love you too. And a lot of my kin folk and everything here, cousins and everything else and all, I love all of you. And I just thank the Lord for saving me and bringing me from where I used to be. Amen. Amen. In my testimony a minute ago, uh, I love the fact where the Lord gives you different interests and everything to show people who you are and what you're made of and everything else. But you know, I really like to say it's a blessing knowing that my mother came and went to an old-fashioned altar in my mm -hmm. front yard to rededicate her life to the Lord mm -hmm. before she ever passed away. Yeah. And then we had a we had another service in my house and all my dad and them came to it. And my dad come to me when he was 80 years old. And he said, son, I don't know what it is. He said, but you told me you got saved. And he said, I've seen you respectfully in church and live for the Lord. And I watched the way that you live. Hmm. And he said, I want to go to that church, see what's going on there Man. that you like so much. And I said, I, say, I think the Lord for saving my dad at 80 years old. He buried him six more Amen. years after he died. Yes, sir. But at least I know he was saved and he's going to heaven Amen. to be with the Lord also. Amen. And I want to thank the Lord for everything he's done for me. Everything he's ever going to do for me. But I thank Mike, all of you. I love everybody. Amen. And I love the Lord. So thank you. Amen. Amen.